but we all know that many cars are called... And Imagine a car that delivers a completely new experience which combines an inside-out design philosophy with an outside-in approach to connecting passengers and environment. This car showcases new ideas of communication. For instance, by using its bionic flaps. My main thing in life right now is sustainability, and I mean true sustainability. How are we going to do this? What's our future going to look like? And so I think tonight is all about the future. You know, when I, I look at this vehicle here, you know, I see the future, not just an automotive future with all the wonderful things that it could inspire that could feed back into the cars that are real production cars. And by the way, I was devastated to find out that I couldn't just order one. <laughs> but apparently we're a ways <laughs> off on that. There's a good amount of travel in the suspension. The screen is very low down and forwards in the car, so it doesn't obscure your view of the road at all. So video, for example, is something that you would be enjoying whilst you're sat charging. Um, of course, your, your regular media, such as music, then is, is immediately at your fingertips right here. The steering wheel moves around the, the driver display there, which stays completely upright during the whole process. Sony surprised us all by launching their own car called the Vision S. Uh, they said they're not going to actually produce the thing, but they wanted a rolling platform to test a lot of different things. They've got 33 sensors in the reading all around the car, laser scanners, radar scanners, basically creating a level two and future semi-autonomous car that can begin to drive itself. Also a lot of infotainment technology in the inside, a 360 degree stereo system, all sorts of good stuff, all sorts of things that Sony wants to produce, but they're not actually going to put the car on the road. We can make it more space efficient, so a compact SUV can actually take, have the space of a large SUV. We have done that. You can make it more aerodynamic, faster windscreen, more aerodynamic features on the vehicle. We have done that. And then finally, you can start using some more environmental friendly materials. So for instance, all the carpeting in this vehicle 
is made from recycled plastic bottles and fishing nets from the ocean. Uh, you know, we use recycled rubber from tire manufacturing. We use recycled fabrics like t-shirts for some of the eco suede inside. So we really have tried to source as many environmental friendly materials as possible, which I actually think is a new luxury. They've got the SA-1 they're showing off here, a five-passenger vertical takeoff aircraft that can pick you up in the middle of the city and usher you up to 60 miles away in, in just a few minutes. Interestingly, it's all electric recharges in just five minutes, so it can pick you up, drop you off, and before the next set of passengers get on board, fully charged again. Really cool stuff, but probably not coming for a little while. Uber says they want to have cars in uh, three years. Probably going to take a little longer. So basically, you push forward, it'll go forward, you push back, it'll go backward. And you can, you know, change directions here. You let it go, it'll break. So unlike the traditional, you know, segway self-balancing kick scooters and also the personal transporters, this one, you don't need to physically lean forward to go forward, lean backward to go backward. You can control energy just using this to shift the center of gravity.